Hi, my name's Ian, and I don't know anything about XPath. Instead, what I'm going to talk about is a process that I've been using, an abbreviated version of the process that I've been using for the last couple months to use location data to help me decide what local content I'm going to make. But before we do that, I wanted to cover real quickly why you would bother making local content in the first place. So recently, Google's really amped up the fact that if you're in Philadelphia, which you should be, Will's hiring, and you search for something like bankruptcy lawyer, you're going to get philadelphiabankruptcylawyers.com in the top three results somewhere. Not a horrible site, no business ranking for the phrase bankruptcy lawyers, unless you're in Philadelphia. So Google knows you're here, they want to serve you local results to this area so that you find exactly what you're looking for. So this opens up a lot of opportunity for anybody that provides professional services and lots and lots and lots of small and local businesses. So doctors, dentists, lawyers, plumbers, roof repair, whole ton of businesses can take advantage of this. So the update specifically that happened in the last couple months was called the Venice update. That update plus just the general Google push towards more localized content is opening up a lot of opportunity, not only to provide SEO services to local and small businesses and get them ranked for big terms like bankruptcy lawyer, but also to build your own affiliate sites, lead gen sites, and take advantage of capturing some of this local traffic. But there's 10,000 cities in the US. It's like 13,000 and change, but 10's a nice round number. That doesn't count towns, boroughs, townships. That's just things that qualify as a city. So look at how stressed that guy is. We need priorities. So to make a priority list and decide what I'm gonna go after, I've been using the location tool in Google Analytics, which is probably a tool I never even opened until four months ago, five months ago. And so this is really helpful, but first we need to do some advanced segments. So the first thing I do is I go in and I make sure that I'm only looking at traffic that came from Google organic search, because that's all I'm worried about right now. And then in the location tool, I put a quick filter. This is gonna change for everybody. For me, I was looking at a week worth of data, and I wanted just cities that sent me over 50 visits in one week. If you've got a huge site and a ton of traffic, you probably wanna amp that up to a bigger number. If you don't have a lot of traffic yet, you probably wanna knock that down or just skip this filter completely. So this gives us cities. I had to take some information out, wouldn't wanna out anything, Aaron Wall might yell at me on Twitter. So what we see is San Jose converts really, really well. That goal all the way on the right is what I'm worried about, goal 17. San Jose converts at almost 42%. San Jose really, really likes me, and that means I really like San Jose, not as much as Philly. The other things it shows me is that Sunnyvale hates me. Nine and a half percent conversion rate. Nine and a half is horrible. Nine and a half percent. So just with these two cities, really, I've got options already. Option number one, I can make a local page about San Jose and really try and defend that top converter. Make sure that the city that's converting really well for me, I hang on to and don't leave the door open for somebody else to come in, make a better page about my niche specific to San Jose and start challenging my rankings for that area. So I'm gonna want great local content. I'm gonna want photos from the city, ideally original photos, stock photos if you can't get a hold of them, and then include the city name in the call to action, so San Jose in this case. Option two, the one that I preferred, was to go on the offensive and attack that low converter. So if Sunnyvale hates me, they only convert at 9.5%, I'm gonna go out of my way to make a page specific to Sunnyvale, California, and try and make sure that I can get traffic from there and convert it at way better than 9.5%. So same tactical approach, you're gonna wanna make great local content, photos from the area, city name and the call to action, and then since I'm already kind of in a bad place with Sunnyvale to begin with, I'm gonna to wanna to consider a local selling proposition or maybe a discount for people in Sunnyvale or a special bundle or something to entice people from that area to buy from me or fill out a lead form in this case. So what's that mean? This is Sunnyvale, California. Anyone know how many people live in Sunnyvale? Me neither, nobody does, because I don't even know where that is. But just Sunnyvale, California, getting that to convert at the site average would get me 12 more leads a week. 624 a year 
And for this site in particular, that's over $6,000 in revenue just from Sunnyvale, California, which I had never even heard of prior to digging into this. So kind of a big deal, and you can find cities like this in pretty much every state as long as you've got traffic already. So extra opportunity, you can also use this same report to make geo-targeted paid search campaigns. You might want to bid up real aggressive in San Jose because it converts at 42%, so you can probably afford it. And either exclude or bid a little bit lower in Sunnyvale because you can't pay too much for clicks there because you're only converting at 9.5%. Well, right now, anyway. You can also use it to make some ego bait aimed at Google Plus sharing. So if you add it to your advanced segment, keyword exactly matching, not provided, that's gonna get you cities that have a lot of people that are signed into Google accounts. Not necessarily a Google Plus account, but this is a decent filter to point you in the right direction to what cities you have people coming to your site from that are signed into hopefully a Google Plus page. See what that city is good at. So if San Jose has almost no traffic accidents, you can make a piece of content about safest cities to drive in and list San Jose as number one. And you know already that a lot of people from San Jose that come to your site are signed into Google. Hopefully it's Google Plus account and they can follow a call to action to share this piece of content on Google Plus. So if you've already got traffic, Google Analytics is free, easy to put on. You're probably already sitting on some little gold mines like Sunnyvale, California, that give a lot of opportunity to make a couple thousand dollars and more in sales. You just need to find them. Thanks.